Region 8 Sports, where local sports comes first. Well, at 6, we did the show in the sports office, and right now we've rolled out the big old TV, which means that it's time for a big sports cast here. The college basketball season is beginning to wind down, but that doesn't mean it's calming down. Plenty of good hoops still left to be played, though. Doubleheader today at the Jack Stevens Center at UALR. Most of the hype off this men's game. ASU already clinched the SBC West. First half ASU on the break. Trey Finn, Marcus Hooten, Red Wolves up early. Later, we're going to have some great state ball movement. It all rhymes and all that mess. Ed Townsville, triple twine from deep. ASU up eight. More Hooten, nice moves. Drains the mid-range jumper. State up by five. Then we're going to have a little bit of Rakeem Dickerson finding Kelvin Downs inside for the bucket. Red Wolves up 35 to 28, but UALR would win it 78 to 71. The Arkansas State women would get a share of the SBC West if they won this game, playing the early game in Little Rock today. Early on, Ashley Ovira to the hoop gives the Red Wolves a one point lead. Then right before that break, Ovira finds Carlisha Wyatt for the bucket. ASU down 25 21 at the half though. But like Wednesday, turnovers would be ASU's downfall. Kiara Clark steals, goes coast to coast for the and one. UALR wins the Sun Belt West outright with a 58 to 50 win. And we have a ton of high school hoops to talk about tonight. So much, in fact, that we're coining tonight. Fast break Saturday night. Just mark out the Friday semifinal Saturday for high school hoops. A trip to Little Rock on the line. Paragould ladies looking to go to the finals for the second straight year, taking on Watson Chapel. Rams in control of this one. Sydney Layrock lays that rock in. Rams lead early. More Rams later. Sydney Layrock blocks the shot. Rachel, Rachel Dykus picks it up. Sarah Dykus. All the Dykus is in action. And one. Count it. Rams head to the championship with a 52 to 42 win. Watch them celebrate. Pocahontas looking to continue their surprise run against Pottsville. First quarter, Redskins going to open the scoring. P.K. Kirk with the nice scoop for the bucket. Then we're going to have some more. Jacob Putrell takes a couple of steps, pulls up, banks it in. But Pottsville led by 12 after one. Redskins try to stay close. Futrell again, but all Apaches in this one. Pottsville wins it 61 to 42. Brooklyn looking to get to state finals against Pine Bluff Dollarway. First half, we're going to have Devin Newton. The spin move gets the friendly bounce. That's going to be Dylan Groves. Then we're going to have Dollarway led by two at the half. Bearcats try to stay in it. Chandler Thompson pulls Brooklyn to within five, but it would not be enough. Dollarway heads to Little Rock with a 39 to 34 win. On the girls' side, Valley View looked to earn a trip to Barton with a win over Prairie Grove. Going to head to the first quarter of this one. Ashley Guthrie being a good Samaritan gets the stick back. Blazers led by two at the half. Going to head to the second now. Blair Parrish with the spin and finds the open bank shot. Blazers up four then. Prairie Grove would take the lead, but Darby Osmond hits the three while falling down. But it would not be enough. Prairie Grove would win it 43 to 36. Moving to the 2A. This game probably should have been the 2A title game, but instead it's a semi. We're seeing alley-oops already. Check it out. Then we're going to have some more Junction City, mostly them in the first half. In fact, they would lead by as many as 21. 21. But EPC wasn't done. Aaron Scales, at first you don't succeed, try again. Then we're going to have Malik Monk with the three. That gives them the lead. They'd rally from 21 down. They head to the title game, 75 to 70, there's that ticket. Those guys will face the winner of these guys. Cedar Ridge taking on Riverside and all Region 8 semi. All this happens quickly. Bucket by Riverside. I'm gonna get the little hero shot, follow him down, but wait, we're scoring again already. Cedar Ridge. Cedar Ridge would punch their ticket with the big win, 63 to 36. Girls 2A action also in Marmaduke. Look at that big old crowd. Host taking on Spring Hill back and forth early. Spring Hill with the bucket. They would lead at the half, but the second half belonged to Marmaduke. Good ball movement, gets the post action, ties the game. Then check out this nice pass. There we go. Marmaduke earns a trip to Little Rock. 67 to 56 is the final. They play the winner of this game. BIC taking on Norfolk. Watch Brittany Fowler. She channels her inner Jim Edmonds. Finds Taylor McEwen. She misses, but Brittany Stockton finishes. Norfolk would take off though. This is what I like to call a uh, pretty easy runner right here. Right into your living room. 
Northland would win it 58 to 46. And there were plenty of semis that we couldn't get to. So as we go to break, here are all those other semis involving Region 8 teams that we couldn't get to tonight.